Dennis, oh Dennis, a boy with mischief fat heart. His clever pranks, he's a master of full art. Dennis, oh Dennis, he'll make you laugh and smile. With his wit and charm, he'll go the extra mile. Go join the fun, let's embrace the joyous ride. Dennis, oh Dennis, with laughter by our side. Good morning, honey. Good morning, sweetie. Today's the big day, huh? Yes, darling, can you believe it? Our little Dennis is actually graduating middle school. I still can't believe it. Today's the day. The day our boy pulls off the impossible. Impossible is right. Who knew Dennis could make it this far without driving all of us crazy? Well, let's not forget the time he almost flung math. I thought we were going to need a miracle back then. Oh, don't remind me. I'm still recovering from all those late night study sessions. That ended with him watching cat videos on the internet. Dennis wake up. It's your graduation not a holiday. Dennis who spent more time pranking the teachers than actually doing his homework. Yeah, this is a miracle, all right. Oh, come on, give him some credit. He's full of surprises, that's for sure. Look at him now, our little prankster is graduating. You are not missing this, Dennis. We've already survived your middle school years, and that's our graduation too. All right, all right, I'm up. We should thank the teachers for surviving all his stunts. Maybe we should send them flowers or something. Flowers won't be enough. They'll need therapy after dealing with Dennis. He'll be fine in high school. He just needs to focus. For once. Remember when his teacher said he'd rather be a comedian than do his homework? Or when he turned in that history paper on pirates because he thought it was cooler than writing about the Civil War? So, I guess I surprised you, huh? Surprised? Oh no, we knew you'd make it. Eventually. Just don't trip on stage. <laughs> okay. Get in. Let's go. Hello, Dennis. Look at you, Dennis. Didn't think you'd actually graduate. I thought you'd be planning a prank for today, not walking in with a robe. Yeah, didn't you say we'd steal the principal's mic and play Baby Shark during the ceremony? Well, plans change, boys. Besides, I already did my part for chaos this year. <laughs> Honestly, I still can't believe you made it this far. Dennis, class of miracles. This has to be a glitch in the universe. First place, Dennis? Seriously? What did he do? Bribe the teachers. This is like the apocalypse or something. The world isn't ready. First place? What are you guys talking about? Alright, everyone. Big news. I've been keeping this under wraps for a while. But I'm thrilled to announce the topper of the class. And the class topper is... Dennis. Wait, wait. Hold up. Me? Topper? Are you messing with me? Nope. I wanted to surprise you, and your parents. You made it, Dennis. And not just that. You're the number one student. <laughs> I knew this day would come, just never thought it'd be in this timeline. Dude, this is better than any prank he could've pulled. Topper, huh? You better not let this go to your head, Dennis. 
What the? How did this even happen? And now for the fun part. As the topper, Dennis, you get the honor of giving a speech at the graduation ceremony. Wait, what? Nobody told me about this. Well, it's tradition. Usually, the topper prepares a speech, but I thought it'd be more fun if you went without preparation. Right, class. This is payback for all those pranks, Dennis. Time to turn the tables. Finally. Revenge. Yeah, let's see him talk his way out of this one, prankster. Guys, I need help. What the heck am I supposed to say up there? Well, you could do what most people do and throw out some phrases. You know, don't stop believing, or live, laugh, love. Yeah, just act like it's one big party. No one really listens at these things anyway. That's not helping. Okay, okay, here's the trick. Apologize for everything you've done in middle school. Make it sound funny and meaningful. Apologize. For everything? Exactly. Start with the time you locked Miss Parker's laptop and blamed it on the janitor. Then throw in how you accidentally set off the fire alarm during math class. All right. I'll make them laugh. And then make them regret ever thinking they could prank me. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here today, especially the principal, teachers, and our former principal Mr. Johnson as special guest. Of course, my wonderful parents. Graduating is a big deal. It's the end of an era, a journey filled with friendships, memories, and yes, a few pranks here and there. But before we move on to the serious stuff, I think it's only fair to acknowledge a few incidents that made these years unforgettable. Let's kick things off with my first apology. Remember the time I accidentally locked your laptop with a password only I knew, Miss Parker? And well, I blamed it on Mr. Roy, our poor janitor. I mean, he didn't even know what the password was, but somehow, he took the fall. My bad, Mr. Roy. You are a legend. Next coffee's on me. <laughs> then, there was the time I thought I was smarter than my sister. Naturally, I wanted to prove it by joining her class. Big mistake. I was dragged to Principal Johnson's office for a little quiz. It wasn't just any quiz, it was riddles. Now, let me tell you, I nailed every one of them. But... Let's just say the former principal's answers revealed a... unique perspective. Those double meaning questions got a little too personal, huh, Mr. Johnson? <laughs> and now, Melissa? Lizzie, this one's for you. Remember when I made a joke about your, uh, sizes? <laughs> yeah, that wasn't cool. So, I'd like to formally apologize. By saying you both absolutely grew into those, um, features. In the best way, of course. 
<laughs> and let's not forget my very first day here at this school. That was the day I met Principal Johnson and accidentally revealed their secret. Good times, huh? Mom and Dad, I'll leave it at that. Aww. And Jack, let's not forget the little incident that happened in the library. <laughs> Of course, Miss Parker also deserves a special shout out for teaching us the importance of grammar. <laughs> Dennis, it's not can I go to the toilet? It's may I go to the toilet? <laughs> well, Miss Parker, all I know is, when it's an emergency, it doesn't really matter how you ask. <laughs> and Emily, Ava. I owe you two an apology as well. Remember that day we bumped into each other at the hospital? I wasn't trying to be mean. I just wanted to take you both down to peg or two. You know, break those egos a little. It was all in good fun. And now for the grand finale. Scott. You remember that logic show, right? And then I applied it. By saying that you were gay. Ah, oh, no! <laughs> yeah. Not my finest moment. But hey, at least now I know logic isn't always the answer. <laughs> Finally, Jack and Scott. You guys thought I forgot, huh? Remember that time I accidentally set off the fire alarm during math class? That was gold. <laughs> and now, I'll just leave it at that. Let's not traumatize my parents any further. <laughs> This chapter of our lives is closing, but a new one is just beginning. High school will bring new challenges, new adventures, and, hopefully, a little less trouble from me. So, let's not stop believing. Let's keep this party going. And let's step into this next chapter with excitement, laughter, and maybe just a tiny bit of mischief. Thank you, everyone. And good luck. You'll need it. The end of an era. The start of a new one. No one can prank the prank master. Thank you all for being part of this incredible journey with stories of Dennis. But as every chapter must end, new adventures await beyond. Stay tuned for more creative stories and exciting contents. There's always something new coming your way. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. See you soon.